What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle in order to celebrate the fact that we hit first rank, even though it's only seven Dragon Stones. Let's go ahead and pop into this first place achieved... Come get dragon stones. Well, let's let's take it easy, all right? It's not that many to get. <laughs> you know, we're going to be tripping over ourselves uh, getting all of these dragon stones that you showered us in. Jeez. Thank you for your passionate support. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has achieved first place on Apple's App Store in Luxembourg. So Tiger was 100% right. He, said that, he called that a few days ago. He was like, yep, Luxembourg got it, uh, which is typical. It's usually, now, nowadays, it's usually only smaller countries that are going to be getting it. So it's like Estonia, Luxembourg, uh, and then usually like the two larger countries that consistently um, get first rank would be like Hong Kong and uh, France, right? Everywhere else is kind of difficult. United States is difficult, though we will hit it once in a blue. Uh, Canada is difficult. We'll hit it once in a blue, or they'll hit it once in a blue. Uh, etc etc i almost exposed myself as canadian no it's uh it's not the case uh the operation team hereby expresses our sincerest gratitude for your support to celebrate achieving first place in luxembourg we are giving out rewards to all players rewards dragon stones seven so this has been the norm for a while now where they'll give seven dragon stones per country which is honestly a little frustrating because nowadays the amount of spending uh, has gone down. The amount of competition in the app stores and play stores has gone down. So um, also this was the Apple app store. Interesting. Uh, so it's just like, um, I don't know, the, the rewards should be scaled up a little bit higher in my opinion because this is harder and harder to get. So when we do get it, it should be celebrated. Um, so it's a little frustrating that the rewards are still kind of this meager seven dragon stones it's not a lot yes i understand it sticks with the theme of dragon ball z and seven and all that fun stuff but uh, you know it's it's just not really where where we want to be at anyway uh, let's go ahead and gather these seven dragon stones we will take them gleefully and then we'll head over to summon because typically uh as you guys know i always jump in and summon on uh one of the banners once i get that top grossing reward now the question the big question to me is should i summon on this banner or should i summon on the brand new extreme z legendary summon now what's interesting here is that from what i've heard there's only six featured units so you have the z broly you have uh paragus you have gohan you have uh the all in the family goku all in the family Gohan, all in the family Goten, and that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six featured units. That's very interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I would only need one of six, I do believe, because I'm almost positive that my LR Broly is at 90%. Nope, he's got two dupes, so he needs two more dupes to be able to be rainbowed, which would be a very, very good thing. As you can see, he's got, um, what, some nice super attack bonus, uh, decent super attack bonus. I probably need to put more crit in him, but what can you do? So I can either <clears throat> jump in onto that banner, because I do need this Broly. Unfortunately, I don't need anyone else. All of, you know, all of these characters are rainbowed. Literally all of them are rainbowed plus extra copies. So he's the only one I can use out of the featured list. There are a ton of non-featured LRs that I can use, 100%. So that is very alluring to me. And then there's this banner, right? Where this banner, I really only need three units. I need more copies of this man. <clears throat> I need <clears throat> my first copy of this Trunks because I've never pulled him. And then I need more dupes of the Blue Boys. Uh, I think I need two more and they'll be good to go. Everyone else is rainbowed. Everyone else is rainbowed 10 times over, right? So this is just bad for me. So statistically, yes, this is a better banner because I'm getting, what, three out of eight cards, whereas the other one is just one out of six. But with that said, I'm really just shooting for features here 
um, I would be shooting more for unfeatured LRs here. So, and another thing that's kind of making me lean towards this Legendary Summon banner, as opposed to this Dokkan Festival banner, is coins, as you hear my cat in the background crying. Yeah, I know. Um, listen, I'll take your input in a second, bud. Uh, I have 711 coins, and I'm really saving until I hit a 1,000 so I can get a dupe of Strength Vegito and physical boo tanks. Uh, whereas here, I need to start building up my gold coins. I'm only at 200. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I think I'm actually going to go into the legendary summon coin because one thing is uh once super saiyan 2 tech gohan shows up i'm 100 percent grabbing him with the coins i think i want to grab i don't know i do i want to grab him over the jiren though Woo! let me know in the comments below what do you guys think because my other option would be this super saiyan goku that i do not have as of yet this spirit bomb goku who's fantastic but there's really for me like three good options spirit bomb goku and then super saiyan 2 gohan when he comes out the tech one and then lr jiren when he comes out in the coin shop so oof that is rough that is rough anyway let's jump in on the legendary banner yes it's probably going to be a wasted summon but at least i get 10 coins start building back up to 500 so i can buy an lr outright and just call it a day you know what i'm saying let me know if this is a dumb idea or a good idea in the comments below i'm sure some of you are already saying like you dumb mother okay take it easy all right take it easy let's jump in we're counting down if you have any dragon stones and you want to summon with me if you got any coins and you want tickets and you want to summon with me if you have any friend points and you want to summon with me we are jumping in five four three two one two sweet it let's go baby let's see what we get okay we got enough featured unit goodness gracious uh okay so one in six chance again i would have liked it well, can herculean boo mean lr um on a legendary banner because i know on a dokkan fest banner it means we're getting a dokkan festival card right uh can that potentially mean that we're just getting i'd rather get an unfeatured lr honestly as long as it's not somebody that had a rainbow like bojack and goku black and zamas and characters like that but i will take the broly or like a paragus of course <laughs> the one the one card that we rainbowed on his original banner like come on dude we don't need that so it looked like it did in fact mean um okay well <laughs> i don't think that's the rainbow i think that puts him at 79 percent but still might put him at 90 percent all right it did mean lr <laughs> okay that was actually a really good summon so we got a featured unit plus goku frieza let's see where that puts him at goodness gracious where the hell did that come from uh tech and oh that puts him at 90 percent boys holy crap that is very good so let's go ahead and feed feed him in here listen if you guys want to see more heat like this, you got to be following the channel. You got to click that blue join button. You can become an elite, become a boomer champion like Chris Gonzalez and Wolverine Gaming. But if you want to do it the free to play way, that's fine too. Go ahead and gently rub that sub button, gingerly ring that bell button lovingly. Kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.